Iowa off to a 3-0 start in the Big Ten for the first time in a dozen years. Fran McCaffrey, Tim Miles, two of the better personalities in this conference. Early first half, it's Nebraska out to a 10-2 lead. Ty Webster drives and scores. Monster night for Webster. He had a career-high 22, and the Huskers are up by 10. But you cannot sleep on Jared Utah. How about the two hands, Jess? The two-fister. He can play all five positions, but don't fall asleep under the rim or you'll end up on a poster. Adam Woodbury trying to make the highlight as well. Nice spin and score Iowa up by a deuce after the conversion of the three-point play. A minute's back to Utah. That is a pro-level turnaround jumper. Iowa up by nine at the break, 31-22. Second half, Hawkeyes lead still at nine. Mike Gazelle had himself a ball game. 22 points, 10 dimes. Iowa up by a dozen. Nebraska down 13, trying to hang around. Andrew White's going to be a very good player in this league. Had a tough shooting night, though. Just 3 of 10. That triple brings Nebraska to within 10. Same score off the screen. This is what makes Iowa so dangerous. Their depth. Peter Jock, he's a mismatch, as is Utah. Those guys knocked down some big shots. Utah had 25. Iowa up by 15. And then the finish one more time from Iowa's go-to guy. 77-66 is the final as Iowa does, in fact, improve to 3-0 in the Big Ten. Haven't done that since the 2002-2003 season. Utah and Gazelle combined for 47 points, 12 rebounds. Gazelle had 10 assists. Utah had four blocks as the Hawkeyes continue to roll. After the game, Sean Morris with Iowa's point guard. Thanks, guys. Mike, outstanding win, your first career double-double. But let's talk about the start of this ball game. Nebraska came out, had a little bit of a bounce in their step. As a senior, did you feel it was kind of in your best interest to start to look a little bit more for your own shot? Uh, yeah, um, you know, it was kind of a funny start. Um, Nebraska came out ready to play. And, you know, Nebraska is a tremendous defensive team. And I think we weren't moving the ball well enough, and we were trying to do a little too much one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, once we started spreading the floor, getting things moving, you know, opened up lanes for me and got, got other guys open shots, um, you know, I think moving the ball is what really got us going. You're really solid on the defensive end of the floor as you have been all year. How valuable is it to have a guy like Jared Utah in the back line of defense that you know if you funnel him to help, he's there to maybe eliminate a lot of mistakes? Uh, Jay is a special player, um, offensive, offensively and defensively. Um, you know, he's a guy that's fun to play with. Um, you know, it lets us guards be more aggressive. Um, you know, Woody's one of the best, uh, I think, on-ball big men defenders in the league, even though he's not necessarily a shot blocker. The things he does positionally is, is tremendous. Um, you know, it, it allows us guards to be more aggressive. Enjoy the 3-0 start and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Guys,